Brandon, obviously you talked to your team for a long time tonight after the game. What was your message to your squad here just a minute ago? Well, we got taken to the woodshed tonight and, you know, we shouldn't have. Uh, we didn't come to play. That's two weeks in a row. We're not physical. We didn't tackle. We turned the ball over uh, multiple times. We can't run the football. It's just an attitude uh, culture thing that we're fighting right now. And, you know, it's on my shoulders to get it turned around and we'll get it turned around. But my message is, uh, we got, uh, we're looking for leaders. We've been looking all year, and we just don't have anybody that wants to step up and lead us. And uh, we're to the point now where we we got to start developing young kids. I mean, if we're, who's going to step up and make decisions to be great and help change the program around uh, and and be the more physical team on Friday nights? And that doesn't happen in four months. That's a that's a process that happens all summer long, all winter long in the weight room. It's an attitude. It's uh, parents getting on board making football important again. It's me doing the best job I can do and, and spending every waking minute uh, trying to make these kids better. And, uh, you know, we're in our baby step phase of turning this program around and probably predictable that we would have evenings like this, especially coming in, missing two starters who are on trips to, uh, you know, other places trying to get higher education. I get it. But, uh, you know, we just got a whole lot of work to do. I got We got our work cut out for us. Second quarter has been a problem the last couple of games. You know, it was a fairly close game and then kind of fell apart, didn't it? Well, we just turn the ball over and then we we don't punt the ball well. And uh, too, you can't give the team the ball with 30 yards to go or less and expect to win football games, especially a six and one team that's very very good. And I think they're getting better every week. And they just ugh. They just out hit us. Uh, I'm a little embarrassed with our physicality because we don't practice that way. We don't coach that way. And uh, at some point, uh, you know, it's got to get fixed. And uh, like I said, it's a process. I just got to be patient. Our coaching staff has to be patient. And uh, we got to find some kids that want to play football and be serious about it. You knew they were going to run the football. No surprises there. Were you surprised, though, the way they, they varied their formations, the way they used their personnel a little bit tonight? Uh, not really. I mean, they do that did that in every game. We had a lot of tape on them. They are multi-formational uh, every game. Uh, they come downhill. They have two really good little uh, short little sawed-off fullbacks that really like to block. They're just a really physical team, and they did what they did, and uh, we couldn't stop it. We couldn't match it, and uh, they were the better team by far. Luke had a tough night. You know, your senior quarterback only has a couple of games to go. What do you say to him? Oh, he's just got to play. I mean, I just, you know, we told everybody all week, you just got to prepare, and I think we did that. Uh, we're just not in the mindset to play physical football right now. Um, he's just got to come play, have fun, enjoy it, make things happen, and uh, we got to block better for him up front, get some receivers open, and, you know. It'll happen for him. What he's looking for will happen. He's just got to just keep doing what he's doing. And, and yet, Brandon, with two more wins, if you can win these last two, you're in the playoffs. So, I mean, there there is still something to play for, isn't there? So as a coach, what do you, what do you say this week to get your team off of this loss and say, guys, you know what? If you win two more, you're in. Well, kids are a lot more resilient than I am, so they'll forget about it. They'll come back Monday with smiles on their faces, ready to go. And, and they know what's – they're smart. They know what we're up against the next two weeks. They know there's an opportunity to do what you just said. Um, and that's, you know, God's good because how, how does that happen as bad as we are right now? But, I mean, we flipped the switch. We played, you know, competitive football early in the year. The last two weeks I'm just not happy with. But if we can get back to that, we got a shot. And uh, it's my job to get us there. So we won't sleep much this weekend. Well, we appreciate all you do for us. You know what? You're doing a lot of things right. It's a matter of getting kids at the younger grades to come out, be part of the program, buy in. But uh, for every, anybody out there listening, the future hopefully is very bright for Indiana. And we thank you, Brandon, for what you're doing. Well, we're trying to build something special. I know it's more bigger than football. Trust me. But, you know, I'm very competitive, too, so we'd like to get some Ws. And I want the kids to feel that success and have that success. But, yeah, we got work cut out for us. Thank, Thank you, Brandon. You. Okay, Jack, that's it from here. Up to you. Sorry.